What were the Chavez actors like before they became famous? Chavez, original name El Chavo del Ocho, was a TV series that was very successful in Brazil and continues to be so. Its first episode was released in 1972, and its last episode aired in 1992. The Adventures of Chavez, so to speak, could be followed daily on SBT, and the iconic characters included S.E.U. Madruga, Kiko, Chiquinha, and of course Chavez. The curious thing is that many of the actors who starred in this series had very different careers before they became famous for their roles. In this regard, we have made a list of what each of the most famous characters in the series did before they became actors. Let's get started with. Kiko. Carlos Villagran played the role of Kiko, one of the most beloved characters in the series. In his childhood, Carlos dreamed of being a comedian and a professional football player. When he was around 23 years old, he worked as a photographer for a Mexican newspaper, which allowed him to establish contacts in the television world. He combined this job with a theater course. It was during a play in which he played a boy with enormous cheeks that he caught the attention of Roberto Gomez, who did not hesitate to invite him to join the cast of the series that was being created at that time. Professor Girafales, the illustrious Professor Linguica, or rather Professor Girafales, studied agronomy before he became an actor. He also worked in many other professions including as an executive at Canal 6, where Roberto Chavez worked as a director at the time. Ruben Aguirre was invited by Roberto to play a role, and that was when he decided to quit his job as an executive and dedicate himself completely to acting. In addition to his work in the Chavez series, he participated in countless other productions throughout his artistic career. S.C.U. Barriga slash Nanho. Edgar Vivar Villanueva played two characters in the series, S.C.U. Barriga and Nanho, both very beloved by the show's audience. Beyond acting, Edgar dreamed of being a doctor, which he achieved in 1970. He worked in the field for two more years, even managing to combine his medical practice with his work as an actor. In the early 1970s, he also recorded a refrigerator commercial that was watched by Roberto, who liked his acting very much. He was soon invited to join the programs produced by Roberto, and the demand to study the roles more intensively led him to gradually abandon medicine. Dona Florinda If you remember the catchphrase, Treasure, don't play with that riffraff! Then you surely remember Dona Florinda, played by Florinda Meza, who also played the character Popies. In her early career, she worked not only as an actress, but also as a secretary to pay for part of the theater course she was taking at the time. As we know, she was married to Roberto in real life and, in addition to acting, wrote plays and soap operas. Currently, at the age of over 71, she has a YouTube channel where she plays the character Kamal Trufia. Mrs. Platilde, the Witch of 71. Mrs. Platilde, also known as the Witch of 71, was portrayed by Spanish actress Angeline Fernandez, who was originally an activist fighting against the growing fascism in Spain during Franco's dictatorship. After being interrogated by the military, she was advised to leave her home country and migrated to Mexico, where everything changed for her. Upon arriving in Mexico, she took theater classes and began her artistic career, initially acting in minor films. However, it didn't take long for her to become quite famous, so much so that she caught Roberto's attention and was invited to participate in the Chavez series. S.C.U. Madruga. 
Without a doubt, SCU Madruga is one of the most beloved characters by fans of the series. His simple and charismatic personality was one of the keys to his success. Ramon Valdez is the name of the Mexican artist who brought the legend of SCU Madruga to life. It seems that Ramon was always dedicated to the artistic field, especially cinema, where he played numerous roles, his first being in the film, I K Benitas Piernas, in 1948. Throughout his career, he worked in more than 50 films during the golden era of Mexican cinema. Some of his other films include El Rey del Barrio in 1950, Fuerte, Otis Y. Valiente in 1963, and El Capitan Manterea in 1973. Godinez. It's true that the character Godinez made few appearances throughout the series, but he still captivated the audience and has many fans. The actor who played Godinez was Horacio Gomez Bolanos, who was Roberto Bolanos' brother. Interestingly enough, he didn't even want to be an actor. In fact, he was the executive producer of the Chess Burrito program, another famous TV show in Mexico created by his brother, Roberto, and was invited by his own brother to play small roles as secondary characters. Chiquinha Beloved Maria Antonieta de Las Nieves, unlike most of the cast of the series, had been acting since childhood. At the age of 11, she appeared for the first time in a soap opera called La Leona, where she was the protagonist. In addition to being an actress, she was also a singer and occasionally did voice dubbing for characters such as Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz and Booma from Dragon Ball among others. It's worth noting that she also entered the Guinness Book in 2021 as the actress who played an infantile character for the longest time. Chavez To close our list, it's his turn. Chavez was the protagonist of the series, the homeless boy who got involved in a great number of misadventures. This pop culture icon was played by the talented Roberto Gomez Bolanos, who liked to play soccer and also practice boxing when he was a child. In fact, he even tried to become a professional soccer player. Some say he couldn't do it because of his weight at the time, but he still managed to become an amateur boxing champion. As an adult, his interests ended up changing, developing a taste for painting and drawing. During this period of his life, he also went to university, studied mechanical engineering but never graduated. After that, he immersed himself in the career of a writer, doing work for both radio and television in the 1950s. A curious fact is that Roberto only started acting after an actor from a radio program he was a scriptwriter for failed to show up, and that was the beginning of a legend that we all love. That was our list of the main characters from the Chavez series. Did you already know what they did before becoming famous? Do you know any other curious facts that we didn't mention? If your answer is yes, write it in the comments because we'll be happy to read and learn. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. Thanks and see you in the next video.